Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, July the 19th. Morning prayer begins on page 79. The Lord is in His holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before Him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore Him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before His presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to Him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. His hands are the heavens of the earth and the height of the hills of His also. The sea is His, for He made it, and His hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 45, beginning on page 647. My heart is stirring with a noble song. Let me recite what I have fashioned for the king. My tongue shall be the pen of a skilled writer. You are the fairest of men. Grace flows from your lips, because God has blessed you forever. Strap your sword upon your thigh, O mighty warrior, in your pride and in your majesty. Ride out and conquer in the cause of truth for the sake of justice. Your right hand will show you marvelous things. Your arrows are very sharp, O mighty warrior. The peoples are falling at your feet, and the king's enemies are losing heart. Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore, God, your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh, aloes, and cassia and the music of strings from ivory palaces makes you glad. King's daughters stand among the ladies of the court. On your right hand is the queen adorned with the gold of Ophir. Hear, O daughter, consider and listen closely. Forget your people and your father's house. The king will have pleasure in your beauty. He is your master, therefore do him honor. The people of Tyre are here with a gift. The rich among the people seek your favor. All glories at the princess as she enters. Her gown is cloth of gold. In embroidered apparel she is brought to the king. After her the bridesmaids follow in procession. With joy and gladness they are brought and enter into the palace of the king. In place of fathers, O king, you shall have sons. You shall make them princes over all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered from one generation to another. Therefore, nations will praise you forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was still speaking, Judas came, one of the twelve, and with him a great crowd of swords and clubs from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given him a sign, saying, The one I shall kill, kiss is the man. Seize him 
And he came up to Jesus at once and said, Hail, Master, and he kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, why are you here? Then they came up, laid hands on Jesus, and seized him. And behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think I cannot appeal to my father, and he will once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then should the scriptures be fulfilled that it must be so? And at that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out against a robber with swords and clubs to capture me? Day after day, I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me. But all this has taken place, that the scriptures of the prophets might be, be fulfilled. Then the disciples forsook him and fled. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> we'll use Canticle 13, found on page 90. Glory to you, Lord God of our forebears. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. <clears throat> glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths, in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. And earth. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, Son our Lord. He was <clears> conceived <throat> by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On, On the third, third day, day he rose again. again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, you know our necessities before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Have compassion on our weakness and mercifully give us those things which for our unworthiness we dare not and for our blindness we cannot ask. Through the worthiness of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, we pray for your church that knowing the promises of eternal life, we may come to a foretaste of heaven in our worship and in lives of love. O God of eternity, whose glory is our destiny and whose peace is our lasting home, stir up our hearts in praise, that as we sing of your majesty, we may know heaven's joy, and as we attend to your silence, we may know heaven's calm. Through him in whose life God and humanity are one, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Lord God, we pray for your gifts of stability and wisdom in a world that seems turbulent and fragile, and for a renewed commitment on the part of all our leaders to building the confidence, trust, and security that allow all people to flourish. Eternal God, through whose mercy the whole created order is held in its place, and through whose spirit of unity creatures are brought to delight and togetherness, and human community is made possible, send your Holy Spirit on the nations of this world that putting aside pride, war, and greed, we may reach out to one another in friendship and nurture within our own societies those gifts of tolerance, understanding, and love that bring joy to life. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. This time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your Lord, unworthy servants, servants, give you humble thanks, thanks. for all Lord, your goodness Lord, and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.